This generation is looking for a new science. What kind of sign this new generation looking for? 2,000 years ago, the Pharisees and the Sadducees asked Jesus, we are looking a signs for you. It's really you are the son of the living God. And you, as a people of God, as a Christian, if Jesus asked you, what kind of sign are you looking for? What sign do you expect from him? Let me give you an example. When we are and in, 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 in started a relationship, we always looking for example, just we met each other. And the first thing that we're looking for say, could you share it to me the, the telephone number, the, your telephone number? I would like to talk to you. And this is the first sign. Second, say, please, could you repeat again your name, your full name with the first and last name? And third, could you give me your address? And third, could you give me the address for you? Email. Do you have Facebook? Or even, do you have Instagram? Or do you have another way to talk to you? You have WhatsApp? It is signs. We are looking for signs in order to keep it our own relationships. Brothers and sisters, that's the same thing that the, the people from Jerusalem, they are looking for signs from Jesus. But let us start at this moment, what kind of signs that the Lord is tell, sharing with us in this beautiful moment in order to be more aware of our own existence, but especially to be more aware of all our lives. I am going to disclose that the new sign, according to our mother church and according to God, God gave us this new sign, came from heaven, and Concepcion Cabrera is a new sign for this new generation. How can we keep it? This new sign aware. And how can we actualize our faith, our hope, and our charity according to God through Concepcion Cabrera? I am going to share with you this beautiful statement about her. Who is Concepcion? She is a person, a woman, a daughter, a sister, a wife, a mother, a widow, and a, a writer who inherits the world in Christ, a path that promotes the divinization process in the salvation of souls during a profoundly anti-religious and adverse environment. However, despite the anti-Christian adversities of Mexico, and from 1901 to 1937, Mexico has the revolution, as well as the world has the first world and the second world. And in, in Mexico, she left in that time, 1901 to 1937. Even she born in 1862 in San Luis Potosí. And this is something very interesting that we need to be aware in, in order to put in the context who really Concepcion is in order to be more aware about how God is going to give, you, give us through her, through her, this new sign. We are looking for signs. This is the sign that we receive for this new generation. If you want to see God, you can see God through this beautiful image. Thanks be to Concepcion Cabrera that the Lord spoke to us in this new sanctuary. And a year ago, in March, in, in May 4, in Mexico City, we received the beatification that she make a miracle. No, well, she intercede and Jesus make the miracle. And thanks be to her, the person became well. But she gave us this beautiful sign, came from heaven. And God tell Concepcion, I am give you a new sign for this new generation is the apostle of the cross. Apostle of the cross, this is the new generation that they are going to sit me. And then Concepcion became aware about this beautiful statement, this beautiful present that, that we need to be aware in order just to renew ourselves, to renew our heart, to transform our heart in a new tabernacle, like a new freeway, a new out of this, a new airport that the Holy Trinity can come to ourselves. 
in our life and ourselves. And the Holy Trinity wants to make an, an appointment with us. And that's why Concepcion invites us and to help us to be more aware in this. Brothers and sisters, let us keep in going. The Father, through, her, through His Son, arouses in this woman a new light to define the men and women of the 20th century and subsequent centuries with the spirituality of the cross. And in this, the spirituality of the cross is a link to revelation. Ecclesiastical tradition and mystical theology, with this spirituality, there is near hope for the Mexican people and for all for the priestly people and ministers of the Universal Church. Thanks be to this sign and thanks be to the writings from Concepcion. In another words, in her human and spiritual development, Mr. Concepcion is a good example as an instrument in the hands of the Father and in union with the Son. She seeks her transformation and lets the grace act in her being which the Holy Spirit present to her through her, his actions and her life and mat a maternal vocation until she reaches the divin divinizing process of her whole person. The compass of her spirituality itinerary is to be guided but directed by the spirit of the risen Christ who is given and presented as a bride as a light, as an energy, as a white five and a spiritual source to renew her theological life, faith, the three virtues, faith, hope, and charity. And the experience of the card cardinal virtues and above all, purity, obedience, and humility. Concepcion became so aware about the presence of God as a Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this is beautiful, how she discover that presence of God in our midst. And that's something interesting that we need to be aware about this beautiful vocation that we can discover in Concepcion in order to be more kind with the Holy Spirit. God is constantly bringing us new signs, send us new messages that we need to be aware. Concepcion became aware why? Because thanks be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now we can read, for example, let me just put it in context about this beautiful gospel that we have right now in San Luke. While still more people gather in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it accept the sign of Jonah, just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At this judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men in this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here at the judgment the men of Nineveh will ar arise in this generation and condemn it because at the preaching of Jonah they repented and there is something greater than Jonah here and Jesus reminds us this beautiful statement what is the sign that Jesus said to to these people, what is the sign that Jesus gave to this generation? He, he said, I am going to spend three days and under the earth and I am going to die for you and I want, want to rise. That's the sign that I'm going to give you to you. As Jonah, he was spent three, three days and the big fish, I am going to spend three days under the, the, the earth and then after Three days I am going to rise. That's my sign. That's my sign that I'm giving to you. Second sign, Jesus tells us, I let me tell you this. The second sign that I'm giving to you, I am going to bring you new knowledge, new wisdom. 
new wisdom came from my father is beyond Solomon because Solomon is a servant of God. I am the son of the living God. I have the wisdom, the knowledge, the strength, the courage came from heaven and I am the wisdom of God. And that's why Jesus made this reference to, to the people and called Solomon. Who was, who was Solomon? One of the most famous person in the Old Testament. He was so wise. And many people came from different countries just to meet Solomon and to have an special encounter because he had a very bright line, bright mind. Why? Because he received the presence of the Holy Spirit. And for many years, he received that enlightenment. And that's why Jesus said, I am the son of the living God. I have the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's why Concepcion reminds us this. It's through the Holy Spirit we can understand this big cross. It's your humanity and my humanity. And even through the Holy Spirit we can understand the next light that we receive is came from the Father. And this new light came from the from the Holy Spirit, from the dove. Is that's why Jesus reminds us, it's through the Holy Spirit that you can receive my presence. And that's why it's connected in the moment that Jesus take our own flesh, according to St. Luke chapter 1, 26 to 28. Through the Holy Spirit, the archangel said to Our Lady, you are going to receive the grace. And that's why even John said, John the Baptist said, this beautiful statement the one who is going to baptize you through the Holy Spirit is behind me is behind me I am only baptize you through the water but behind me is going to baptize you through the Holy Spirit means he's going to remove your heart your stone hearts and he's going to give you a new heart to you he's going to bring you new talents, new qualities, new virtues. That's why Concepcion became so important to all of us through her virtues. She became so aware about the beautiful statements that we can receive from God and be more aware about his kindness and his love in order to understand this, even his presence and his kindness. The Lord reminds us through different ways how God works with us. And I am going to read to you something important in order to understand the life from Concepcion. And she wrote this beautiful statement in her diary and the book 57, versicles 181 to 118. And from the Father love, and from the Son love, and the Holy Spirit proceed love. No as a skull, because in the divine person no one is before another. No like the last, because none is less than another. No first as another reference to God in the, in the unity of the Trinity, but they are in the divine gen, 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 genealogy. Conception reminds us this beautiful statement, God is love. And through love, I am going to help God to take her this new sign. And that's why even we can furthermore through the spirit of the father and the son as a GPS of her soul. It presents new strategies to fight again against all the adverse adversities of her time. But more importantly, with those of her own person, she was born and grew up with many academic limitations. This is the another sign that the Lord tells us through Concepcion. Concepcion received very less information or academic information. Even no one standing did not prevent her to be a priest, prophet, and king in her Mexican reality despite the little education she received in so many political conflicts of her time. In this human sp spiritual process, we can see 
that she is a Christian who lives while she pre preaches. And as a result, she becomes a good divinist, divinizing example for the universal church. She is a good shepherd who takes care for God's sheep and gives her life for them. Like we discover this in John 10, versicles 11 to 12. Concepcion became a good shepherd for many people because she discovered five new different ways. And the first way is she create a community, the apostle of the cross. And is belong to this, to this picture. And that spirituality, we can see it in many people, as well as the sisters of the cross. Even another community, the fraternity of the poor priests, even the chase of love and the missionaries of the Holy Spirit. She bring new signs to the people and say, God is speaking to me and it is not only for me, these signs is for you. And I am the instrument. I am the channel. I am the, even the way. Jesus is going to walk in through me to you. Be aware. That's why Jesus said to this generation, the only sign that I'm going to give you to you, I am going to die and rise for you. I am going to tell you through my crucifixion. And also Jesus said, I am going to give you this sign. As well as Moses arise, the serpent in the desert, I will be arise. And when you saw me, you will believe in me. And this is a new sign Jesus tells us today in this beautiful gospel that he's speaking about his crucifixion. And that's why even Jesus said to all of us in this beautiful gospel that can tell us again that the Lord even reminds us this. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. We can discover this in Matthew chapter 16, versicles 24. And Jesus said to all of us, I am going to take the whole humanity and I am going to bring you to my Father. And I am going to tell to my Father, Father, this is the gift that you gave me and this is the gift that I am offered to you back. And I am going to circumcise the heart of people. I am going to help them to be part of me. Brothers and sisters, Concepcion, is a woman deeply immersed in ecclesial process and together with it she was a clear conscience to deal with the so social political and economical conflicts of her time and thanks to her life of faith she find hopefully approaches to all these challenges she shares with us through her mystical writings and her religious experience the acute process of the religious persecution that she left. And in spite of it, she shows us her openness to God, God the Father, and His Son, Jesus Christ, who is revealed through the action of the Holy Spirit in a person. And in a personified way, He chose her the way through her incarnate spiritual process by living through and making her own the suffering the suffering and the ang anguish of the persecuted mexican church god remind us today the new sign that i'm going to give you to you is peace how can you give it or how can you receive that peace through this lady our mexican people after 1938 will receive the peace and thanks be to god for many, many decades, now we have a little peace in our Mexico. But it's time that to ask this question, how can you promote peace in this moment in your environment? And the sociological, political, economical, even in your academical education. How can you promote peace in your family, in your job, in the way you are thriving, the way you are by the things and the way you are in the supermarket, even you drive, how can you promote respect and love to others? Concepcion 
remind us this beautiful statement. What remains but to how to estrange with the help of divine grace through their meditation of the of the Son of God? We can make this question. The revelation and the knowledge of conception became so aware in this beautiful time. And that's why we need to be aware. Brothers and sisters, we can make another question. And he makes him, himself known through the revelation that leaves us as the first source of the sacred scripture sex. Subsequently, we see in the Bible itself many mystical experiences starting with Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Zechariah, as well as the Virgin Mary, John the Baptist, Stephen, St. Paul, when he discovered, according to the Acts of the Apostles, that, Mexican, that, that mystical experience, when Jesus appeared to him and said, you are looking for signs, I appear personally to you. And the signs that God gave to, the, to Moses is the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments, the, the stones that tell the people that I love them and this is my sign for them. Tell them and follow my Ten Commandments. That's the sign came from Moses. And Moses appeared to the people and said, God gave you these new signs to you. As well as Concepcion, after she has the encounter with, with Jesus, Jesus explained to her about this cross that later I'm going to explain to you. But now another sign that we can see in her in, in Concepcion, she became a mystical. She had a special encounter with Jesus. And especially in the moment of the incarnation, the mystical incarnation, Concepcion became aware about this. Brothers and sisters, running through the John the Evangelist, this, we can see even the whole uh, Gospel of, of John, as well as the apocalyptic, we can see in John that mystical experience. The same sacred authors use certain analogies and metaphors and present in the developed do not use proper names, but we can discover the metaphors to make God known and thus love him better. Therefore, the metaphors I present and developed do not use proper names to describe the Holy Trinity, but rather use appellative to continue deepen in our theme of the divinity session and thus be able to arrive at the affirmation of the incomprehensibility of the ineffability of God. I am going to present to you special analogies through this new evangelization and I am going to speak to you about who is Concepcion Cabrera. The next tax I am going to spend a little more time about her and I am going to quote a special signs that we receive from God through conception in order to discover this incomprehensibility and the ineffability of God. How can we become more aware about the existence of God in our midst? Conception is going to help us. Conception is going to be a good instrument for all of us. And it is good to ask this question, what we seek is to this deepen in the Trinitarian div divinization mystery and what action the presence of God generates in the human being? Concepcion received the help of her spiritual director by divine initiative and practice an intense liturgical life that, we, that was progressively lived step by step until she understood the program of the field of her spiritual life that led her to let herself be undone and done for the love of God until reaching the degree of perfection that the Holy Trinity presented to her, to her through the spirituality of the cross. And from it, he strengthened her vital choice 
or belonging all to God from her marital vocation. Conception gave us another another sign. She became faithful as a, as a, as a husband, as a, as a wife. And after her husband died, as a widow. And also as a good mother and grandmother. Another sign. And I'm going to conclude with this first conclusion. God revealed to us through her the, the essence, the substance of dignity as children of God. And in the way of responding from her mission, from the mystical experience that the being that the beginning with the permission of the engraved of her chest, J A S J H S, the monogramma, continually with a set of, of visions or lead her to know the Trinitarian presence and the symbol of the cross of the apostleship. And from that gift, she clarified her spiritual itinerary. This is the first conclusion. The second one is this. Continue by the purification of the sense, the spiritual Bethlehem Beth 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 and a spiritual marriage and lands in the mystical incarnation that is, we are able to see in the different stages of her life the importance of the Trinitarian presence in her life and lives open the call for every Christian who may want to live this spirituality. Jesus said to Jews and those people who are looking for signs, if you want to live my spirituality, take call you, take take you cross and follow me. And I can't I can help you. May God bless you, brothers and sisters, and enlighten you through new blessings and through new gifts. Now we have a new sign came from heaven. And Jesus sent us conception to remind us that he is still alive. He is living in our midst. May God bless you and bring you peace to you and strengthen your faith, your hope, and your charity. And to be faithful to your own vocation. If you are married, be good couple. If you are a priest, be a good priest. If you are a, a religious person, be a good religious person. If you are a single, be a good single person. May God bless you and bring you peace and be part of this process of divinization, the Holy Spirit. And do not be afraid if you need him. Tell him, Holy Spirit, I need you. As she constantly said in her writings. And I am going to conclude it with this beautiful readings from her. I carry within three lives, all very strong family life with its multiple source of a thousand kids and different kinds. That is the life of a mother. The life of the words of the cross with all the sorrows and weight, which all times crushes me until I have no strength left. And the life of the spirit or interior life, which is the ha heaviest of all, with its highs and lows, its tempests and struggles, its light and darkness. Blessed be God for everything. Conception tells us that we can be happy according to God. Let us be happy and let us be success in life because we have a human life, a vocational life, in a professional life, but also a mystical life. May God bless you and bring you peace to you. And do not be afraid. Be part of this process of divinization. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and Son, the Holy Spirit. Keep you running your soul with pure and bless you always. I am going to keep it. This evangelization through conception. Be aware in the next step, the next chapter. Bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow as well. Oh,